over 90% of new drugs are actually ineffective in humans. So we wanted to determine how reliable are these new PDX models as a platform for drug discovery. In recent years, we've seen a rise in the number of landmark studies that cannot be reproduced. Pharmaceuticals, they rely heavily on results from biomedical research, and they invest heavily in these new technologies. And patients sign up to clinical trials that will ultimately fail if we cannot reproduce these studies. So methods such as the ones we report in the publication have the potential to improve reproducibility by highlighting areas of concern. And they should be of interest to researchers, funders, and also to the drug industry. The main question was to determine whether xenograft models, PDX models, resemble or mimic cancer in man. Xenografting is based on the direct implantation of fresh cancer tissue from individual patients into immune-compromised mice. We used our combined expertise to bring the rigour of the systematic review process to scrutinise the validity of xenograft model. And this is a type of literature review that uses formal methods to critically appraise studies and it provides a complete and exhaustive summary of current best evidence. We had to come up with a new set of what we call validity tools to interrogate how well the models mirrored the cancer in man. What we found was discordance between a xenograft and corresponding donor tissue for expression of tissue-specific markers, cell-specific markers, and histopathology. Overall, most studies were classed as unclear because one or more of the validation conditions were not reported or researchers failed to provide data for proportion of their models. A lack of detail of methodology and vague reporting of results made it sometimes impossible to scrutinise the evidence. And this all points to failure in the peer review process as it stands at present time. Systematic reviews, like any review, are really biased towards published data. Negative data overall is not reported by authors, therefore you can't judge its impact. And this could have an effect on the systematic review. It was often difficult to assess whether the same model had been used in different reports. So a lack of a definitive name for the PDX prevented us from establishing multiple reports of a given PDX. We would recommend that there has to be improvements in reporting of research findings, and this will really improve reproducibility. There really needs to be improvements in the peer review process because we highlighted the poor validity of some models, yet these were published. They were out in the public domain, but they were extremely poorly validated. The systematic review process sometimes produces results that inconveniently contradict the common belief. For example, PDX models are believed to resemble the donor tumour, mimic treatment response, yet we found there was really not enough evidence that they do, certainly for proportion of published models. The validation tools that we show in our publication have the potential to improve reproducibility, reduce waste in research, importantly, and to increase the success of translation. Ultimately, biomedical research is all about the patients.